Is there a dog? Cujo. Cujo. Hi. Merry Christmas. Yes, hello. Okay. Hey, it's Chris. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Holidays. Merry Christmas. Hope you enjoyed your Thanksgiving. All that fun eating time. Something like that. I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. So my family and lots of families have traditions of watching Christmas movies around Christmas. So there are a couple of movies that I grew up with that are very special to me and I thought that I'd share them. So here are five of my favorite Christmas movies. So starting out the list, number five, we've got Barbie Nutcracker. Now, before you start judging me, because I can tell that you're already starting to judge, it's the exact same thing as The Nutcracker, except it's with Barbies, okay? It came out in 2001. My sister and I, we grew up on this movie. We still watch this movie to this day. I just watched the movie. I wasn't really into the Barbie culture. I was watching it because there's a rock giant in it, which is really cool. And anybody who's judging just because it's Barbie, you can go and, uh, I, I really don't care what you do. Go choke on mistletoe, because you ain't getting any kisses. Number four, Frosty the Snowman. Classic movie, I don't really need to go into depth about this story because everybody knows this story. It's about a girl who's like, oh man, let's go make a snow cone or a snowman. They have a magician with a hat and they go and they get the hat and they're like, oh man, let's put this on the guy's head and he's like, happy birthday. And then he disappears because the hat goes away and the guy takes the hat and he gets the hat back and he says, happy birthday. Hey, I already said that. Let's go on a walk. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. And then they go off and they're talking and it's like, oh crap, it's getting too warm out. Let's go North Pole. So they hitch a ride illegally, hopping on a train without a ticket. So. You, you do you. Santa saves the day. Yay, Santa. That's, yeah, you can tell I haven't watched it in a while. <laughs> Number three, The Polar Express. I'm an idiot that didn't realize that this was voiced primarily by Tom Hanks until a couple of years ago. So even though it says it right there on the front, Tom Hanks on it, I knew he was one of the voices, but he's like five or six guys. Two of them is technically one person because it's being voiced by the guy holding the thing. Anyways, you guys probably already know it. It's, um, I actually looked this up. I had no idea. This book is from 1985. You know, in my little childhood world, I thought that oh, everything's new since I was introduced to it in first grade. That must have meant that it was a brand new story because look, it got an award. Oh snap, it's so cool. Anyways, it kind of blows my mind that this movie wasn't even made until 2004. It feels like so much more than just that in my childhood because of the book. Gotta love Polar Express. The Polar Express. When you hear them, you'll scream, yay! Number two, Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. One of the classic stop-motion Christmas movies. Of course, let's go through the story. Even though you all know it, it's about a messed up kid. Kid reindeer, born with a defective nose. He goes off to school and the guys at school are like, yo dude, you can't hang out with us cause you've got like a red nose and we've got plain black noses. So that means you're weird. So you can go and do your own little thing and we'll laugh at you. And then he goes, aw, oh, I'm like all on my own. And then the one girl comes over and says, hey, you've got me. And then his, her dad's like, ah, oh, no, you don't. Cause you're not gonna hang out with this guy. So um, then he goes on and he gets smugged by a abominable snowman and gets real. And Santa's like, oh man, you can really help me out, Rudolph. Cause there's like fog and stuff. And everybody's like, oh really? Rudolph's actually cool? Wow, we just needed to hear it from somebody that actually like can say that somebody's cool. So the moral of the story is that if you're getting bullied at school, just get like the top dog to tell like, hey, you're cool. So just tweet at Kim Kardashian and get her to say, hey, you're cool, and then you'll be cool. And number one, Beauty and the Beast, The Enchanted Christmas. It's still probably my favorite Christmas movie aside from Die Hard, and Die Hard counts as a Christmas movie because it takes place during Christmas. Both of the movies, Die Hard and Die Hard 2, therefore they are Christmas movies. So I am entitled to watch them during Christmas and you're not allowed to judge. Settled? But my all-time favorite Christmas movie is gonna have to be The Enchanted Christmas. So let me go into more depth about this story. 
one of the parts that is my all-time favorite part. The focus. Okay. Whoa, that worked. Oh, snap. You see right there, that's Forte. And he is the organ that's in Beasts. Let me get this to go back on me. Focus on me. Focus. There. Forte is an organ that is in Beasts West Wing. Forte is essentially the little, the little whisper in Beast's ear the entire movie. Forte's like the the devil on the shoulder. You could justify that maybe some other characters are the angel on Beast's shoulder, but I, I feel that Belle is that voice of reason. Beast doesn't want to celebrate Christmas, and Belle, of course, does. So it's kind of that battle of celebrating Christmas or not, and um, eventually it turns into a battle of good versus evil, and kind of a, a fight for life. And Forte is, um, um, is that bad guy that you love to hate? I mean, sure, the special effects of Forte being 3D animation for the time is kind of god-awful, but if you look past that and look at the story, it's something special. That kind of sums up Beauty and the Beast. The Enchanted Christmas. Those are my top five favorite Christmas movies. What are your favorite Christmas movies? Feel free to let me know in the comments down below. I have plenty more holiday and Christmas inspired videos that I'd like to make. If you've got any ideas of what you wanna see me do next, don't hesitate to let me know. And I shall see you in the not so distant future. See ya, bye, Merry Christmas. to the end and you saw this in the tree back there leave a comment with just like hashtag Mary Trumpness or something I don't know let's see if we can freak people out all right bye <laughs>